Hello friends! Last time I was working on creating a database structure for the operations model. I hesitated for a long time and finally decided to use a more segmented system with a separate table for each operation. And although this approach concerns me a bit regarding the speed of the queries to these tables, the clarity of the database schema still outweighs this drawback. Well, it's time to implement this in code. But before that, I would like to show you something interesting. The guys from Ojai sent me this fancy box for free to make an honest review of the product. Inside, it contains a set of cables for almost all devices that I own. The set includes three USB-C cables, a lighting adapter and a handy organizer. I have tested all the cables and I can say they are very sturdy and look really stylish. I especially like this nearly meter long cable, which I will use to charge my phone and earbuds. But the most interesting feature for me is the light indicator showing that the device is charging. It looks really cool and product itself seems to be very reliable. Alright, before starting to write the code for our tables, I should write some simple unit tests. Why simple? Because so far my tables will not have any complex logic. But in the future I will likely be extending the functionality of the models, adding various methods, properties and custom managers, so having simpler tests already written will make things much easier. I plan to add 4 models right now, so I am writing tests for each one. Since my tables don't have any custom logic, I am only writing positive tests and I will add the negative ones probably in the next session. Let's run the auto tests. I see a bunch of errors. Great, moving on. With the test for the four main entities, it's time to describe the tables themselves. Money source, money account, expense and saving goal. Each of these tables should have a name and should also be linked to a user and currency. Considering that all four models have these fields, I can move them to a separate abstract model to avoid copy-pasting the same thing throughout the project. And finally, I'm adding the code for actual models. Now the moment of truth, running the autotests again. And errors again. Let's go fix them. The problem was that my function for user creation didn't return it. So during the testing of creating my tables instead of a user, I passed none as an argument. I resolved this issue, tried to run the test again, and they passed, which is so good. After this wonderful event, I'm moving on to writing models for operations on our entities. Unlike the previous tables, I decided to make different fields, as each case has its own separate source and target. In my opinion, it looks a bit ugly, but the advantage of this approach is clarity and self-documenting naming. Great, I'm writing Autodesk to check only positive scenarios again. Currently, I'm only testing them as my models don't have any custom logic, so right now writing negative tests is just a waste of precious time. Okay, the autotests are showing an error. 
Next, I'm adding the models themselves. Transfer account operation, replenish account operation, expense category operation and saving goal operation. running the auto tests and again I see a lot of bugs. It turned out I had bugs in both the models and the tests themselves. Fixing these bugs took some time, but eventually I fixed them. Running the auto tests again. All best. I'm so happy. Being excited, I started creating a commit, but the linter didn't allow me to do it quickly. I had to resolve issues with migrations and code in the directories with auto tests, and it wasn't quick again. But eventually, I committed all the changes and pushed the code to the repository. At first glance, today's coding session may seem fairly easy, but the main issue for me is to choose the right database structure that will be convenient to work with in the future. I calculated the approximate time I spent analyzing this task, and it took almost four evenings of active searching for the optimal option, considering the specifics of this application. What can I add here? The beginning is late. Thank you friends for watching this video, I would be very happy with your comments and suggestions. See you next time!